Young Jedi Master Award. Firestone Fast Six here at Road America is a really good thing. Everybody wants to be in the Fast Six. If you make it though, you want to be at the sharp end. What was or wasn't working for you in what felt like a little bit of a weird qualifying session? Uh, what was this Fast 12 or Fast 12 and then Fast Six like for you? Uh, man, I mean, there were so many different tire choices, right? There were guys on new blacks, there was guys on uh, older blacks, guys on used reds. So we went with the used reds because we wouldn't have been quicker with the, with our used blacks. We didn't have a, a new set of blacks to use. Um, I think my lap probably had a couple tenths more. Okay. Uh, not like seven or eight tenths, which was what I was missing. Yeah. Um, so I, I'm happy where we're at. I mean, I get where, you know, we made it to the fast six and you want to go a little bit further, but I think the best we could have done was probably one more row. Okay. Um, fourth ish. Yeah. Um, yeah, man, the, the, the guy, the guy's just been quick. Uh, I think the Andretti cars have probably been the, the most solid cars all, all week. And they're, I mean, they're all, they're all fast not just Rossi. I think Colton's fast and, um, you know, even, even you see like Roach on it, they yeah. have quick cars and, and we we kind of started off in the back end. We 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 didn't we didn't start off well. They and mentioned uh, red in red in your uh, press release yesterday. You said you guys are trying something new. Didn't come to perfect fruition on Friday. I know we can't give away secrets, but can you give folks an idea of what that direction is that you're trying to find and perfect? Yeah, so it's a track that penalizes you a lot if you don't have a car that's comfortable to attack with. Um, the biggest thing that you can do and make to make your life easier is is honestly to make the balance on the high speed and the low speed as close as you can mm. and that's what was completely you know tables turned from one side to the other of the track for us yesterday where uh, man it was like having a knife up to your chin and oh, wow. it was just really 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 nervous and just very unpredictable and not drivable so uh, the changes that the guys did it were came really, a long way. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Like it's 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 a lot better than where we were yesterday. Back here, I'll oh, bring sorry. you It's okay. We're uh, we're way better than what we were yesterday. So I'm happy that like we said today in their briefing, if we make it to the fast six, it's already a good day. Um, Felix quick as well. P8. I mean, the two of you are really close. So seems like as a team, you guys are hitting your stride. But also, we've got Ganassi cars, Penske cars. Uh, you got a lot of good cars here in the Fast Six, some good cars right behind you. Tell folks what you're thinking about tomorrow. You feel like you can race forward? What do you need to be able to get some more positions? Um, it's a tricky track because there's a lot of time to gain on pit stop sequences. Either you undercut or overcut. Usually the undercut is quicker. Um, if you're able to overcut, which is what Palau did last year, uh, it's pretty rewarding. You just need to have the tire and the car pace to do it at the yeah. end of the first stint. Um, so yeah, if you undercut too much, then you're going to be saving fuel, and mm. you're, it's, saving fuel here sucks. You just get past left and right in the straightaways. So um, yeah, warm up's going to be in or practice three or whatever. I mean, yeah, just a couple it. hours from now. Yeah. It's a busy day. You're earning your money today. Yesterday, you, you and the rest were lazy. Burning calories, bro. Well, I need to burn more, but that's a totally different story. <laughs> uh, last quick thing for you. Obviously, we know Alexander Rossi is going to become one of your new teammates next year. You got business to do this year, right? I know you're focusing, trying to win a championship, all those things. Any positives, though, when you see a guy who you know is going to be joining you next year? You go, hey, guy's on pole. He's been really quick lately. Does that at least give you some good future-looking feelings? I think it's good that we're going to have a guy that, <clears throat> that's that been in, in a championship-winning caliber team in, in car for the past, like, six years or something. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> so he's very used to that car. And I think what he can bring to us is where do we lack? Yeah. Where are we better? Yeah. Where do we need to look? Um... So yeah, I think it's a great addition to the team, and I'm looking forward to 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 making a, our package better, man. From all the rumors I keep reading, I think uh, you're gonna have other new teammates next year. I think Lewis Hamilton is one. Uh, who else? Dale Earnhardt Jr. is gonna be another. Uh, I'm trying to think who else. Uh, Sebastian Bourdais is gonna come back from sports cars. Anyways, if you believe the rumors, you're gonna have like 100 teammates. It's gonna yeah. be amazing. I think we're gonna be running six cars next year. Yeah. Ooh, breaking exclusive scoop.